What's going on guys, your boy Amazing, we're back with another video, and in today's video guys, we're going over the best gear recommendations for all the characters in Grand Cross, updated by the way, because I did this months ago, um, I actually made my initial video on this uh, July 24th of 2021, so it's actually almost... It's almost been a year actually since I made that video so I thought I'd do a updated video going over basically every character and um, the gear I recommend you guys put on that character so I'm gonna be like pretty quick with it because we have a lot of characters in the box but I'm basically just gonna say um, HP defense attack crit damage and then if they have a niche set um, I'm gonna say their niche set as well so before we actually hop into the video make sure to subscribe to your boy amazing we are on the road to 20k subscribers man and at the time of recording this video I'm at 19,000 260 subscribers on the youtube channel man we're closing in on 20k and i'm super excited so yeah let's hop into the video guys all right so let's go to my hero box and we'll just start going from the top down and uh yeah i'll just let you guys know what gear set i personally run on each character as the as their best one so festival king hp defense and the reason for that is because uh he's just super beefy and you don't really like you get the damage regardless like he'll just hit super hard um so yeah hp defense for uh, festival king uh hp lifesteal for green molasula and that's because of her passive because you want to get the uh you know 20 percent basic stats based on her lifesteal um so you always want to go with uh hp lifesteal by the way um and for and for you guys in the comments like wondering like what do i mean by hp defense is literally just hp and defense and then if i say hp lifesteal it's these two pieces would be lifesteal instead you know what i mean so like yeah if i switch over my hp defense from king that's like hp defense right there so continuing anyway uh red molasula hp defense uh blue molasula i would say it's probably hp defense as well but you can run like attack crit if you do want to do like dps build uh most likely hp defense though uh red dn so festival dn hp defense uh definitely recommend that uh, Trader Meliodas, uh, interchangeable. You can do HP defense if you're in like high tier PvP. Um, normally though, attack crit damage for like anything other than that, right? So definitely attack crit damage for him. Uh, Kusak, I would do attack crit damage personally, um, and I do it because uh, his damage on his cleave is actually based on his crit damage as well. So like regardless, you still want to put attack crit. So I would highly recommend attack crit for uh, Kusak. Um, Margaret, I'd say is HP defense. Um, just because she's mainly a support and even even she, like she still does a lot of damage on HP defense anyway So yeah, HP defense for her uh, summer Merlin HP defense as well She's a support type character you guys know uh, Summer Merlin that's the role she's trying to play in the game anyway, so HP defense um, Sigurd here HP defense probably um, you can run like attack if you really want to do like a DPS build But nothing too crazy man usually like you're just going for HP defense anyway uh, Bond we know is HP crit damage if you're doing like a DPS bond um, Cause you know if you guys don't know his uh, damage is scaled through his uh, his uh, His uh, HP right um, so he's gonna be able to do a lot of damage through that. So I do HP crit and then I have the top pieces interchangeable so you can give them like crit chance crit damage. Um, but you can also give him HP defense as well. That's another good option. So it honestly just depends like if you're trying to make him DPS or if you're trying to just make him like, you know, tank the best as well. But yeah. And then, uh, Red Arthur HP defense, uh, Chandler, I'll say his HP defense, Zeldris HP defense, Ram HP defense, Amelia HP defense, which we're getting a trend here guys, we're getting a trend, uh, HP defense, Merlin, uh, you can do attack crit, uh, I do attack crit on Grey Demon, but everywhere else, HP defense most likely, um, even in PvP you could do maybe attack crit, but uh, just cause she tanks 40% guaranteed, uh, but yeah, I mean it's interchangeable, um, red haired Liz, I would say attack crit damage, but you don't want to give her UR gear, just slap an attack crit on her, and the reason I say that is because on, like, Belmost Demon, if you have attack crit on her, you'll, like, she can actually dish a, a decent amount of damage as, like, your support anyway, so yeah, attack, uh, crit damage there, uh, Assault with Meliodas, I would say, <sighs> it's hard to say, man, uh, probably attack crit, uh, but HP defense is a, vi a viable set too. But like most of most most of these characters, like you can literally just run HP defense anyway, and you'd be fine. But uh, attack crit is good uh, is good on Assault with Meliodas, especially for like PVE content or PVP. Um, it's not too bad. Nanashi HP defense, Blue Elaine HP defense, the one Esnor attack crit damage, and uh, you guys know why that because he's literally a DPS. Um, you can bring him like anywhere with attack crit, um, PVE, PVP. He's pretty good for that. Um, Keo HP defense, my attack crit damage slash HP defense. It's it's up to you. Um, she technically is a support, but she can dish out damage herself. So if you want to build her DPS, attack crit. Um, if you want to build her support, HP defense. 
Um, Lilia, HP defense regardless, like even for a DPS build because she gets her 50% basic stats uh, when she's applying debuffs on the enemy, right? When she gets a debuffs, she gets up to 50% basic stats. So she's going to be really, really strong, right? She doesn't really, um, she doesn't really need an attack. She gets enough from the 50% anyway. Um, Red Lilia, same thing, HP defense. Uh, Hendrickson, HP defense. Sariel, attack crit damage slash HP defense depending on the situation. I usually, like, with this Holy Relic on the deer, I run HP defense. Um, but if you're in, like, uh, you know, if you're running him as, like, a link... Um, and you want to give them like attack defense. That's not bad um, But attack crit damage would be like your DPS sorry you'll build um, for for a bond link you would give him HP defense um, For any other link you would give him attack crit damage slash attack de uh, attack defense You can just swap these two pieces, right? Because um, you want to give him as much CC as possible as a link if you are using sorry as a link um, but yeah, generally speaking, attack crit damage, um, if you, like, if you have them, like, if you want to make another gear set for, like, uh, you know, your link or whatever, HP defense is viable there as well. Um, Tarmiel is triple defense slash HP defense. Um, I'd recommend triple defense if you're using them on the field, and if you use them as a link, HP defense is fine. Um, and the reason for that is just because of CC, like, I'm running triple defense, I didn't make an HP defense yet. Um, but he gets a 60k rate with triple defense, which is, like, actually kind of cracked, like, if you, if you really think about it. Yeah, and then Ludo, HP defense for sure. Goss Elizabeth, HP defense. Hawk, HP defense. Um, Zaneri, HP defense. Ela, HP defense. Um, Shin, attack crit damage for farming. Um, if you do build him in attack crit, it's pretty good. Um, green, mono, HP defense. Blue, mono, attack crit damage. Gr uh, red, mono, attack crit damage. I would say, yeah. Because she's like, that's kind of what she's trying to do. The reason I would say green, mono, HP defense is because she's trying to stay alive to build up. Not that. She's trying to stay uh, stay alive to build up her, her stats to buff the team, right? Um, she can still dish out damage, though. So if you want to run, like, attack crit, and, you know, by all means. Like, I think all three of them, you could run either attack crit or HP defense. So it's interchangeable. Um, Easton, uh, HP defense always. So every Easton is HP defense. Valenti, HP defense with resistance rolls on the defense pieces. So if you want to build their, like, full resistance, you can. And the reason you would do that is so you could stop pierce teams. Because if you guys don't know, uh, she's going to decrease enemies' pierce rate by the value of the hero's resistance at the start of the battle. So the more resistance she has, the less pierce rate the enemy is going to have, basically. So uh, that's pretty good. Uh, Death Pierce, HP defense. He really needs HP defense, by the way. You would never give him anything other than that. Uh, he definitely needs that. Um, I would say all Zeldris, even blue one, like blue one, you could give attack crit damage, but every other Zeldris, like the Fest Zeldris I mentioned earlier, um, and this Zeldris right here, HP defense, man. Um, Estrosa, HP defense as well. Um, all the Derrieris, except red Derrieri, HP defense. You can run attack crit damage, green Derrieri in Belmoth Demon, but that's about it. Like, blue Derrieri is HP defense, like green Derrieri, like it's interchangeable, and then red Derrieri, you're always running attack defense. Um, so yeah, it's basically what you did. Or attack crit damage if it was like the nuking guild boss. Um, but yeah, it's mainly these three are interchangeable. Um, Droll, HP defense regardless of the Droll. Uh, Gloxinia, I'd say HP defense. Galland, you could do attack crit if you really wanted to run it a, or an attack crit build. Like, I've seen Sora do it. Um, but other than that, HP defense most likely. Uh, Jormungand, attack defense for, for deer. Um, because you want her to, you know, heal your team, but also to dish out a good amount of damage as well. So I would highly recommend attack defense for her, for, uh, her right there. Scotty, HP defense, both Eskinors, at this point, like the old Eskinors, they can be linked. So I'd say HP defense, just because they're uh, good CC links. Um, but other than that, like even on the field, um, I don't even think you would run attack crit because Eskinor himself doesn't even have high crit chance. Like you would really need green Gother, right? Yeah, he only has 40% crit chance. So he's not even going to crit that often. So yeah, I'd say HP defense. Um, Festival King, the uh, full wing Festival King, attack crit damage. And the reason for that is because you want to do as much damage as possible to make the strongest shield as possible. But you can run HP defense in like higher tier PvP or HP crit damage if you want to just have like a shield for your, you know, for the support. Um, yeah, that's up in the air as well. Um, Miguel does attack defense uh, because in the bird you want her to heal as much as possible. So scaling off the attack. And then also the fact that she can actually do some damage as well, which is not too bad. So definitely attack defense for Megilda. Uh, Fest Gother, HP defense. Awaken Decent, HP defense. Brunhilder, attack crit damage with crit chance rolls on the gear. Um, you want to do that because 
that if she's able to crit, she's going to basically deal damage cap on the bird slash deer, regardless of any demonic beast you put her in. Um, because she actually increases her basic stats based on the amount of surviving allies in the f on the field. And if everyone's alive on the field when you have four people, that's what, 48%, right? So that's really good. Um, so yeah, that's going to be Brunhilde right there. Um, you have uh, Blue Lilia here, which would be HP defense with Pierce rolls at the top. Um, I don't think I have my Lilia HP defense still. Do I have my... Uh, I don't think I have my Pierce rolls for her. I think I just like yeeted them out, man. Um, I think I just deleted them, but I used to have Lilia with uh, Pierce rolls as like common gear. Um, but you don't really need to do that anymore. She's mainly just like there for CC, I guess. Um, HP defense though, man. Like, yeah, you just run that. Um, they, you can run like Pierce rolls on the top pieces if you do want to use her as a, a pure support. But uh, that, I'd say like that's just, uh, you know, it's kind of a niche build. Uh, Ragnarok Bond HP Defense, he's a backline. Um, SR Bond HP Defense, Blue Demon Meliodas, or any Demon Meliodas at this point, probably Attack Defense slash HP Defense, because they're just links. I wouldn't really use them for anything else. Um, Matrona, it can be HP Defense slash HP Crit Resistance. Um, I did build these Crit Resistance pieces as well. Um, for the, I think it was for the Deer, if I'm not mistaken. Because um, if you run Matrona on the Deer, and you want to bypass that like Crit uh, down buff, you can actually give her this, but standard standard build I'd go with is just HP defense. It's just simple. You know, you don't really have to worry about anything if you go HP defense. Um, but yeah, and then uh, all the Arthurs, I'd say HP defense. The only one I'd say is not is Blue Arthur, which he's probably down at the bottom. Uh, but Green Arthur and Red Arthur, HP defense for sure. Lost Vein at this point, HP defense. If you have him high duped, um, you know, you would have him like he's always still do a lot. Like, I think like if. If you have him 6 out of 6, like, HP defense is, is super strong. Other than that, I guess attack crit damage if you are using him in the front. Uh, for Or for, like, a DPS, like, tower uh, clear or whatever. Um, yeah, and then all these HP buffers right here. HP defense. Alioni HP defense. Merlins. All the Merlin links. HP defense. You can make the case for, like, attack defense on, like, an Escanor link, which is fine. Uh, but most of the time, I'll go with HP defense. Uh, Helbrim here, HP defense. All the Jericho's attack crit damage. Um, I actually have never made a HP defense yet for the Jerichos, but I know for sure like every one of them is like has something to do with with crit. Um, a blue Jericho, you could give HP defense though, just because she's a backline. Um, this blue Jericho right here. Um, but other than that, like the rest of them, I would say attack crit for sure. Um, yeah, and then uh, Grimoire here, HP defense. Hauser, you could do attack crit damage for farming. Um, other than that, HP defense. Uh, Guild Thunder HP defense because he's a backline. All Gothers HP defense. Do not make this mistake. Uh, you know, you can make attack defense Gother, but no one's going to use him. Uh, HP defense is the way to go. Uh, King Link. Uh, these kings, the skinny kings, HP defense for sure. Uh, Dian here, HP defense. Uh, all these Elizabeth HP defense. Rem can be attack for damage if you want to build her that way. Uh, Roxy. Ah! HP defense probably still. You still hit her really hard because she, you know, she does. Based on the amount of humans on the field, uh, she's going to increase her attack related. So even on HP defense, she'll still hit really hard. But you can build your uh, attack if you want. Uh, Tank Dian is going to be HP defense. Matrona HP defense. Uh, who is this? Ruin? Hugo. He's HP defense probably. Uh, Gustav HP defense. Merlin HP defense. Yeah, let me see if there's any notable characters down here I can mention. Terry uh, HP defense. Uh, cause he's gonna be a really good support, right? Green Sariel, HP defense as well. Um, is there any other characters I can mention here? Um, I guess Ragnarok's, uh, like, uh, su the Summer Merlin build would be HP defense. Um, it doesn't look like there's any other characters I can mention. The rest of them, oh, Ragnarok Dan, HP defense too. Uh, you can do, like, attack crit damage if you want, but most of it, she's mainly just a support. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess Slater as well, HP defense. That's about it, guys. I've kind of gone through basically all the meta units here uh, that are even relevant. Um, Mark II Valencia, I guess, attack crit damage or attack crit resistance. Um, yeah, that's basically it. I've kind of went over all the characters there. If you guys need like a niche like like build for any of these characters down here that I didn't mention, comment down below and maybe I'll give you a reply. Um, but yeah, like that's basically it, man. That's the gear I would recommend for these characters specifically. Uh, you guys let me know in the comment section below if what I said was right and if you agree. Other than that, that's going to be it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe as always. If you guys want to see more videos like this, definitely let me know in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out and have a great rest of your day.